What is up guys, Andy Forest Team Runner here, back with another video, and today I have a lot of updates that I want to cover with you guys. Number one, I want to talk about the brand new shoes that we've got turning up next week for testing. Number two, I've got three shoes that I want to give you a mileage and performance update on. And number three, I want to talk about this weekend's 10K and then training moving forward. So if you're excited for today's update video guys, make sure you give it a like, share with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content. And without further ado, we'll start off with the shoes that we're gonna be testing. Apologies, I would normally put a bit of B-roll footage in between these two clips. Sadly, I have not been able to get out today for a run. Today was meant to be my last easy run before my 10K time trial this weekend. Sadly, life has just been absolutely mad today. So I'm going to be going out tomorrow before Saturday, but that's we'll save that for the end. Right now, we want to cover the juicy stuff, the exciting bits. What shoes have we got coming in for testing? Well, straight off the bat, by the time you see this video, I may or may not have ordered them. The Asics Meta Racer are being released on the 12th of June. Now, of recent times, there have been some shoes that I've been trying to order, which I cannot, because they only go up to size 12, 12 and a half. We will see if these things release in a size 13. If they do, they should be being released at midnight tonight. By the time you see this, they will have been released. Hopefully, I will have got my hands on a pair. So that's the first one, but actually that's not one of the two that I'm gonna be talking about. That's the possible third one, if they have it in my size. The first one, that should be arriving here early next week is gonna be the Brooks Hyperion Tempo. Cannot wait to get my hands on this shoe. Hopefully, from listening to some reviews, it's gonna, re it's not gonna replace, but it's gonna be hopefully a better version of the Hoka One One Rincon. It's gonna be more durable, but it's that light, fast, nimble, plush feeling, which I'm looking for in a speed trainer to put in to my rotation. And then to kick out the miler from the rotation and replace that with another easier day shoe. We have got the Nike Pegasus 37 coming in. Again, I ordered both of these shoes back on, well, no, I ordered the Peg 37 a couple of weeks ago, but I ordered the Hyperion Tempo back in May. So there's been quite a delay in getting the orders to us. So I've got those two shoes coming for testing. We'll see how the Pegasus 37 does, but ultimately the Meta Racer is the one that I cannot wait to get my hands on. And to be honest with you, if I get that and it gets delivered before any of those two, that will be being tested first. So those are the shoes that we've got coming up. Exciting stuff on the channel. Now for a mileage update, and we'll start with the Saucony Endorphin Pro as the first of the three shoes. So basically, I have 47, 48 miles in this shoe, basically hitting the 50 mile mark. And we will do after this weekend, because if the conditions are right, this is gonna be the shoe that I choose for this weekend's 10K time trial. And I am actually now putting more miles into this shoe than I originally planned. I was gonna box this thing back up, but Saucony put out a post and said, that this shoe is gonna last you as long as their standard shoes, anything like the Kinvara, they use the Kinvara as an example. So basically what I read into that as is that I should be able to get three, four, 500 miles out of this thing and it still perform really, really well. So I'm now not being shy about the mileage I put into this shoe and I am gonna start using it just that little bit more. And I do intend hopefully over the next month or two to possibly even get it up to over 100 miles and give you guys an update. But so far, so good coming up to 50 miles and after this weekend obviously we'll crest over that 50 mile mark and see how it performs but so far so good we have also now hit the 150 mile mark with the new balance fuel cell tcs which is exciting i've made a pact to myself a lot of you guys have made comments saying we really appreciate you making the 100 mile videos but especially on the 200 mile nova blast video you really like the fact that i'm taking some of the shoes further now obviously i can't do that for every single shoe but i've got to be honest with you if a shoe tickles my pick then I'm going to use it like I am with the Nova Blast and like I am with these things and I want to endeavour to give you guys some more updates as I get more mileage in them. Ultimately I'm not going to be the person buying a bucket load of shoes and just using them once or twice. I do want to be quite strategic with the shoes that I buy because I need them to fit into the, my rotation, my training and ultimately the ones that work really well are the ones that are going to get the most use. And to be honest I have gravitated towards this thing for tempo runs and long runs. So as I said we've hit 150 miles in this thing and since the 100 mile update I've had on this shoe or I published on this shoe it is absolutely no different it is doing fantastically no wear and tear signs on the upper the outsole is still as good as it was in the beginning and the midsole feels just a soft plush bouncy everything you name it it's still exactly the same TC as when I got it out of the box and finally a 250 mile update from the Nova Blast I did contemplate doing a video about it but I just thought I've spammed you guys so much with Nova Blast videos you don't need to see another one but I thought I would give you 
an update and keep telling you how this thing is performing. So this thing got up to 250 miles after this weekend's 21 mile long run, hilly long run I might add, running at 6.52 minute per mile pace, three hour marathon pace over the hills with nearly 2,000 foot of elevation. Yes, I took this shoe on that run and it is holding out absolutely phenomenally. This is the workhorse of my rotation. This is the reason why I have not got the Nike React Myler to 100 miles yet. I'm on 78 with that shoe. I could have got there much quicker with it, but I just want to use the Nova Blast. This is fantastic, and I've got to be honest with you, I think when the Peg 37 comes, it's going to take a while to get to 100 with that, because this thing will still be my go-to. And it's great to hear, running with Matt, the Welsh runner on the weekend, his Nova Blast are over 400 miles in, and still holding up really, really strong. Again, no wear and tear in and around the upper. The only thing I still have, which I mentioned in the 200 mile video, is this little snag here appearing at the back of the heel. Other than that, for 250 miles, the shoe is doing great. There's still tons of pop left in the midsole. The Aha rubber on the outsole is doing great. and I'm having absolutely no problems with this shoe. It is still my number one easy day trainer. And finally, the third update is moving on to this weekend's time trial and where training is going beyond this. So first of all, I've got to say a massive thank you to each and every one of you that's supporting me on my workout videos. I love producing them. And I know it's a very separate audience that likes to watch those to the shoe reviews, but I am doing my best to kind of provide something for everyone at the moment. I'm doing my best to provide a workout video a week and I'm really, really enjoying producing them. They are, to be honest with you, one of my favorite videos to make, especially when I'm out there in the forest on the trail, showcasing you guys the beautiful location that I have to run. But where is training going after this weekend's 10K time trial? I'm already looking forward, focusing on the future, but obviously keeping my heart dead set on this weekend's 10K time trial, seeing how well we can do and seeing where fitness has got us. But we'll then move on to some longer distance intervals. In originally in my head, I was going to be doing some half marathon training for the next six to eight weeks and so far that is still the plan. We're just going to see how things go in terms of races if local races start to pop up as the COVID-19 lockdown starts to loosen. I'm expecting to see some manipulation in terms of the way local races might be run, whether they're time trials, whatever they might be. And if I start to see some local shorter distance series reappearing that we can go out there on the roads and there's more and more of them appear, then I might reduce my training back to the shorter distance stuff to really tune up and give those races a good go. But ultimately, if I'm completely honest with you, I don't see that happening. And therefore, I'm going to push on with the half marathon specific style of training. I'm going to do that for another six to eight weeks and do a time trial for that, hopefully at the end of July. And from there, I'm either going to reset and go back to base building training because that's then going to have been a good 12 to 14 weeks of solid 10k progressing to half marathon training or I'm then going to kick on to marathon training depending on if any marathons pop up that actually can be run. If they can't and there's literally no signs of any races happening, I'm just going to push the reset button, go back to base building and then kick back on depending on what races start to become available in the new year. So that's it for all the updates today, guys. Really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much for watching to the end if you're still here. And thank you again for all your support on the recent videos. We're nearly at 6,000 subscribers, which absolutely blows my mind. So to each and every one of you, thank you so much for tuning in and listening to me waffle on, whether it's about shoes, whether it's about training, how-tos, whatever. I appreciate your support. I hope your training's going well. I hope you appreciated the update. Next video you're going to see is of the 10k time trial and from there hopefully we're going to be jumping in next week to some shoe testing with some awesome new shoes. So if you enjoyed the video guys please make sure you give it a like, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel for weekly running content and as always I will see you on the next one. Until then.